Yo, what's up, guys? Today, we're watching more Adventure Time Season 4. And if you guys want us to watch more Adventure Time, get this video to 9,000 likes. And come on and grab your friends and head over to our Patreon for the commentary track and lots of exclusive content like a Total Drama World Tour reaction series. And Arcane. Is this gonna be like a Yu-Gi-Oh episode where they have card games on motorcycles? Card games on motorcycles! I think this is probably closer to the Magic the Gathering oh, episode. That's so disgusting. Because like, they're nerds and they suck. Are you telling me Yu-Gi-Oh fans aren't nerds and they don't suck? I'm pretty sure that's the opposite. Are they Yu-Gi-Oh fans or Yu-Gi-Oh characters? Like, that's the question. <laughs> Dude, I'm hungry. I'm trying to be like him, man. I'm not I've seen this gift so many times before of him just absolutely decimating two <laughs> sandwiches in a row. Oh my god, he fucking <laughs> ate that thing. The food coma. The food uh, coma is crazy. Uh, Lady Rainicorn doesn't want to play the game Card Wars with me. It's so disorganized. <laughs> That's like your Cards Against Humanity game with all your friends. You don't put it back. You want to play two? No, I do not play such games. Ah, oh, whatever. Yo, Beemo's Whoa! 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 Beemo! Can I get that episode? Fucking kickflip! Where's the episode of Adventure Time where Beemo just makes an, a fucking fire skate vid? I need Beemo <laughs> Pro Skater episode. That would be so hype. Okay, now it's the battle phase. I'm attacking your schoolhouse with my Husker Knights. Going for the schoolhouse? <laughs> Jake is a school shooter, question mark. Why is that the first thing he goes for? What the hell? Dude, I feel like I'm watch I'm consensually watching the kids on the school bus play Magic the Gathering right now. That's what this episode feels like. He's eating all my cornfields. My Husker Knights draw energy from corn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the one good fart sound effect. You get one fart sound effect per episode. If you go over that, it's not funny anymore. I cast teleport to move your pink to the empty field so I can attack him. Wouldn't teleport only work on your own creatures? <laughs> You're right. I'm gonna slay that pig, though. How? Oh my god. <laughs> that face. Oh, oh my god. The expressions in this episode are fucking terrifying. I guess they were like, this entire episode is two characters sitting in chairs. We gotta make it interesting somehow. I fluked the volcano. What? That'll destroy your kingdom too, won't it? Oh. Ah! My pig! This is like fucking Voltorb self-destruct. He's just putting it all into RNG's hands right now. Finn was relying too hard on the pig meta. Revive! <laughs> and I still have my battle phase. This is OP. This game is fucked up. How does he still have this his battle phase? This game is literally that? complete bullshit. My ancient scholar raises the dead. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. Huh? Oh, no. This is the guy you don't want to game with. Uh. Do not play such games. Wait, Jake. <laughs> Show him do a kickflip again. Kick yes. The kickflip, the kickflip. Then I cast Summon Archer Dan. <laughs> this game is fucking awesome, dude. You summon Archer Dan. He's just a fucking piece of corn. Yeah, he could blow up like everything on the other side. This is what happens when you don't balance a game. This is like a day one MOBA. This, this game is, is just pride. Hearthstone. It looks like you are the dweeb and I'm the cool guy. Jake is such a fucking douchebag in this episode. Hey, not that bad. I like it. What? <laughs> you want a taste? Oh, he's trolling him. He's trolling him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the deer. No, the deer is back with the hens. That's not the same deer. What are the odds that's the same deer? Oh, fuck. Is this the magic man? Is this the foot episode? No, the foot episode season one. There. That's Glob, right? Glob, my favorite character. I think I see him. Yes, I see him as well. Hey guys, what Glob? Nothing, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> What, what, what are they carrying? We, I don't need to know context. I don't want to know what they're doing, man. Oh. Walls. <laughs> hey. What a crazy twist in this episode. No, Magic Man is fucking hilarious. He's literally like the biggest asshole. Magic Man has more character development in over the course of the series than like most of the other characters, though. I wish I could help. Except I don't. You suck you butt. Called him a suck you butt. I'm what not is quite that? sure what, what is I'm that? not quite what sure is what that, that means. Uh he lives in a trailer park. Dude, this is prime real estate right here. Like, this is fucking $300,000 in LA. You live like this, Magic Man? You live like this? Why are there boxes that just say dirt on them? That's so what I was saying, man. It's weird. That dirt wasn't there beforehand. And the little people get left behind. So what 
I'm not gonna lie, I said Magic Man is cool, but I'm starting to realize Magic Man is fucking annoying when you first are introduced to him in this series. This can take me to Mars? You put your hands on those thingies and think stuff about people. But it's broken. Hasn't worked in 200 years. Think stuff about people. I love how vague it is. Well, Magic Man doesn't have feelings, so it's gonna work. <laughs> That's because Finn has feelings for Jake. Citizens of Mars, King of Mars. <gasps> Abraham Lincoln. That's the best part of Adventure Time is that like at some point in season one, super early, they make a joke about Abraham Lincoln being on Mars. And then he actually just is on Mars for the entire series. They attacked us and ravaged Mars. Very impressive, Grod. Dude, he's got the fucking Elmo projector, dude. I haven't seen one of these since I was like in second grade. What happened, Magic? Why did you go crazy? Whatever, Magic. He sounds like a cretin. He sounds like some fucking guy in a back alleyway trying to sell you magic mushrooms. This part of the episode really just feels like a regular show episode. This really like does. Like having Abraham Lincoln on Mars, that's fucking regular show. Well, the, the way he's talking too sounds like yeah. that giant head guy from regular show. He's voiced by the real Abraham Lincoln. Really? That's crazy. No, they cut out his vocal cords. You know, we're able to make a few sounds and the AI filled in the rest. Chill! What the fuck is happening? I win again, just like always. Yay, Magic Man wins again. Yeah. I'm so happy the piece yeah. of shit won. I need this one back. What will you give me for him? My immortality deal. Holy oh my shit. God. I'm alive. Lincoln is a real one for this on oh God. Oh, Flame Princess. That's like Finn's girlio or something. Oh, do the thing that I like. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Why does he only have six teeth? Ew. <laughs> the dental care in the land of ooh isn't that good, man. Why like, does she like break. that? You want a hug? <laughs> He's a fucking burrito. He's a burrito. Finn condom is creepy. I don't like Finn condom. Then down the road, you'll make it to tier five, where she'll let you discover all 15 feet of her long, beautiful stomach. <laughs> 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 tier eight. Where you touch her horn for the very first time. Her horn? Damn. For the what about tier 15? You stay away from that. Do not do tier 15. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of funny because you realize that he becomes a father later on. So is he saying that he regrets having children? What are you doing here? Collecting taxes. You guys weren't home, so I let myself in. What a fucking asshole. Princess Bubblegum is so fucking weird. They don't even live in the Candy Kingdom. What is she collecting taxes for? I think they technically live on the outskirts of the Candy Kingdom. They're in the fucking grasslands. They ain't getting no benefits from her developments. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of had a crush on Princess Bubblegum as a kid, but now that I know that she fucks with the IRS, like, that just changes everything. Like, as an adult, she is the IRS. Jake, I'm going to see Flame Princess. Be back later. Ben! <laughs> 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 oh, the fucking scream. That noise. That's so good. They should make a, like, car horn sound like that. Get a Tesla, you can change it to anything you want, man. Don't tell Tesla drivers this, bro. They'll be even more annoying than they already are. I'm gonna bounce out. Okay. Tier two, baby. Word. Yep. Word, dude. I love the way Finn and Jake talk, man. Sonic spin dash in that bitch. What the hell? He literally fucking, like, did a speedrun strat to get out of his own house. Well, still at tier one. Still at tier one. Trying to afford the $20 for the tier two OnlyFans account. The Flame Princess MLM OnlyFans, bro. Starting soon. Well, speaking of Jake. Here we go. Child Groomer is here to tell this child who we can and cannot date. Finn, sometimes... You want someone. This is literally Makima talking to Denji. She's literally manipulating Whoa. him right now. Get away from that child, Princess Bubblegum. Stop touching Bubblegum. that child, Princess Stop Bubblegum. Touching that Get child. your hands off of that boy right now. You're a hero, Finn. You're my hero. And heroes don't get no pussy, Finn. Now you like me? Finn, what are you talking about? I was in love with you, okay? Damn. Damn, the drama's real, bro. This is so intense. I'm done. I'm all gummed Damn. up inside, PB. And it's not Damn. with Bubblegum. Bacon pancakes. Bacon pancakes. Bacon pancakes. Bacon pancakes. Bacon pancakes. Bacon pancakes. The most dramatic scene in the whole show. Now we have bacon pancakes. No transition. No transition. This isn't about some petty love triangle. Flame Princess is physically unstable. She has BPD, Jake. She's off her meds. No. The PNGs are sliding. Get out of there, man. Flame Princess. 
Dude, this is why you can't get pussy from a girl who is evil, Finn. He, he just learned his lesson. Bro, this is the most Kino fucking moment ever, dude. Firefighters, take notes, man. This is how you do <laughs> he it, He doesn't bro. even this have any PPE. I need you to be okay. Ew, ew. No, she can't consent. Finn, you can't do that, man. Oh, it's just mouth to mouth. It's just mouth to mouth. But she didn't consent to that mouth to mouth. What if she wanted to die? Yeah, Finn assisted suicide is legal in the land of Ooh, so. Yeah, if you look at a map, the land of Ooh actually takes place in Canada. She's stabilized. We're safe. Dude, Finn has fucking third degree burns on his face. He, had, he ate the McDonald's chicken nugget, man. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> like a tough case to crack. This is like when you put a GoPro on like a cat or something. This is what this <laughs> fucking episode looks like. <laughs> is Bimo gonna do police brutality? Bimo, it's an innocent mouse. I didn't do anything wrong. You're infringing on Disney's copyright. Hello, Ronnie. What do you want, Bimo? Bimo's such a good voice actor. Bimo, what are you doing here? Looking for- Who is this cat? They have so many animals in their house that they'd never see. You will be the one behind the bars. Oh, Bimo's a PI, dude. Bimo's like Batman of this universe. He's a vigilante. He doesn't follow the police's rule. So you are saying Bebe is man enough? What? No, you are putting words in my mouth. <laughs> I love how the chicken actually responds. Officer Davis has this case under tight wraps. Bimo's like, to be honest, better than Columbo. Better detective. Sorry, lady. Forgetting A in my job description. That was hard. <laughs> that was a hard line. You still remember us? Bimo f the chicken. No way. This Bimo is so f stupid. The chicken. Bebe und Bebes. A dance club downtown. Baniac. Bimo? It's a fucking TV remote. <laughs> this sure has a stellar cast. Don't play dumb with me. Uh, uh, oh my god, Bimo. It wasn't me. I swear. It was Ronnie. Look at Bimo's grubby little fingers. Bimo's got little fat boy fingers. I'm going to be honest with you. Bebe? Oh my god, baby was killed. It was a setup. The cops! Bing, bing! Pew, pew, pew. Yo, this jazz music is crazy right now. <laughs> oh my, this is the most intense scene in all of Adventure Time. Ah! Hello? Hello? What the fuck am I watching right now? Are you alright? Yo, Neptur! Neptur! Round of applause Everybody's for Neptur. Everybody's favorite friend, Neptur. What was Runny doing down here? I don't know. But now my sensors indicate that some treasure is missing. Bro, you don't have any sensors. You're a fucking microwave. You're the shittiest put together robot on the planet. Neptor is pretty advanced. He can throw pies, dude. Like, hello, is that, that the coolest thing you've ever seen? Neptor is literally just like a Michael Reeves failed experiment that is sentient, basically. Bimo, we should hang out more. We're both robots. No, Neptor. I am not like you. Damn. <laughs> Bimo's fucking racist, okay? He's like a eugenic or something. But Bimo over the keys. Yay, Bimo! Yay! Yay! Yeah, Bimo dance, Bimo dance. Our chicken's name is Lorraine? She's red hot like pizza supper. <gasps> he fucked that chicken. He Come fucked along that chicken. Bimo fucked the chicken. Long live the king! Yo, what the hell is going on in this episode, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's under mind control or something. He's hallucinating. Look how long his ears are in this shot. Use this. I didn't like this. Okay, I remember this episode. This episode genuinely creeped me out thoroughly when I first watched it. Man's got two strings. He's struggling out here. That's all the only strings that the Mongolians needed. So like, he just needs to channel his inner Mongol. His face turned into a loaf of bread. Would you guys eat the fin bread? I would eat that shit. He probably tastes like fucking Wonder Bread, to be honest. Dude, she got the birdo hole. She got literally got three mouths now. Holy shit. Why was he like feeling up her birdo hole though? That's kind of weird. He was fingering her birdo hole. I think Finn found the clue. I'm gonna be honest with you. He did the impossible. He found it. He did what Jake could never do. Dad, are you okay? Our father would never knit. Oh my that god, is this is way so too trippy. Feminine. Why is this so trippy, man? That scarf looks familiar. It's a worm. You can't defeat me. I'm the king worm. 
I'm going to keep you in this dreamscape. Sounds like Norm Macdonald. <laughs> he does sound like Norm Macdonald. <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. Knock it off. That's just being creepy on purpose. Oh my god, this episode's tripping me out. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I hate this episode. This is weird. Oh, gross. He's pissing. What? 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 He's not what? pissing. That's coming out of his belly button. Yeah! 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 It's his gut fears. And it came out of his gut. Ben, shush. I'm having coffee with the lich. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. You are too young. That's a classic clip. You are too young. Get out of our house, King Worm. Oh. They didn't even kill him. They just told him to leave. Look, his ears are short now. You see, I was right. I picked up on the epic detail because I am a viewer who pays attention to the episode. What's up, guys? It's me. Yep, my media literacy is so high right now. I'm high right now after that episode. I think that's where the Ice King has them hostage. Can I do Princess Bubblegum, she canonically speaks Korean. A lot of characters in this show canonically speak Korean, or at least understand it. There's a lot of characters that clearly can understand what Lady Ranicorn is saying. Also, she's been alive for 7,000 years, so that gives you a lot of time. Like, you can whip out Duolingo in 7,000 <laughs> years, man. Princess Bubblegum speaks a lot of languages. Well, Princess Bubblegum is fucking German. That's how you know she's a damn Nazi. There they are. Through the sphincter. Oh my god. Whoa. She did not just call him that. Bro, you she did not just call him that. They straight ew, up went into ew. the asshole. Don't worry, lady. They're beating her ass. They're literally beating <laughs> Lady Rainicorn's ass. Do you think Pendleton Ward got a colonoscopy and he, he wanted to make a physical representation of that for this episode? He's like, once you hit 40, things change as a man. You start things learning about the prostate and <laughs> it's history from there. That's what the message of this episode is. I'm picking up three heart signatures. It's gonna be Gunther and Gunther, bro. Why is it fleshy? This literally looks like some berserk eclipse shit low key. This looks like a super meat boy level or like Binding of Isaac. This is some Binding of Isaac shit right here. Oh, this is actually Binding of Isaac. You're so right. They're entering the new rooms and then you get the random procedurally generated boss. What a pleasant- Oh my God, cardio. I haven't seen this guy since episode fucking one, man. A boy and a dog. You deserve more mature companionship. <gasps> Poisoned with sandwiches. Of course, that was my first guess too, Princess Bubblegum. Well, they had a thing with like attached to them that said sandwiches on it too. I want the fool. That looks like the Behalit from Berserk. This is like the 1989 anime or whatever. That is disgusting. Bro, he even has a little would, face would. on top. Synthesized from Ice King's living tissue. It hard, oh boy. This is weird, this episode. Marvel at these powerful, articulate. He's turning her into a pretzel. He's kind of beautiful though. He has very beautiful eyes, I'm not gonna lie. Like he might be a terrible person who like literally harvested Ice King's organs, but he's kind of a baddie though, low key. I, mean, I like, ship let's it, be honest. I ship it, I ship it. I'll do it, I'll be your wife. Oh. If you can beat me. What? <laughs> like she's just like, I'm gonna fucking whoop your ass. <laughs> Why is she sweating so much? She's it's like, I do not want to have sex with this fucking heart. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. God, that was fucking awesome. I feel bad for Ricardio. Am I wrong? I do not that? feel bad for Ricardio. He literally, he literally just harvested Ice King's organs. What do you mean? I should have never put you in danger. I saw in the heart monitor. I didn't know. She's pregnant? She's pregnant? When does that get revealed? When does it get She's revealed? She's pregnant. Nah, I am pregnant. I'm puppies. <laughs> she says that part in English. That's funny. I'm puppies. I'm puppies. <laughs> I'm going to lower the screen. Tell me what you see. Why, Finn, don't let this woman, don't let her, her experiment on you anymore. She's not even paying you for your time. I'm gonna be honest, this her is hair, not the look. I Bubble love the way she looks. fucking weird as hell right I now. I love her hair. She looks like the May Queen from Midsommar. What, what is, is it? it? Nothing. Nothing. Show us now. We practically know everything, everything already. already. Now show us. What the fuck is that scene? <laughs> this is, they got some fucking CCP monitoring system this right here. This is the moment you realize that they have mass surveillance in the Candy Kingdom. This is how fucked up Princess Bubblegum is. Why are you stalking my peeps? I am within my rights. Yeah, that's <laughs> in his rights to break into someone's house and watch them while they sleep. Wait. <gasps> What do you mean, nothing? 
everything. Why is he going out the window? Lemon Grab is my favorite autistic oh. representation. I don't understand you, Lemon Grab. No one. No one understands Lemon Grab. And you make me like this. That's the sad thing is that's true. Lemon Grab is fucked up, but that's literally because that's by design by Princess Bubblegum. All need is three healthy volunteers to move in with Lemon Grab. No, no, we won't go. <laughs> no one fucks with Lemon Grab. Just for a little while? <sighs> I can't, princess. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, holy shit, that is so fucked up. That's right. Back up, fools. Oh, I remember this episode now. This episode is mad fuck. Are these the criminals? We want the big cash money wad. Enough to provide for our delinquent mothers so that hopefully they'll show us the love we always dreamed about. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> the, the, there are abusive mothers. But the thing is that Princess Bubble Bubblegum specifically designed these mothers to be <laughs> abusive. She chose their personalities. Princess Bubblegum forced little kids to be with Justin Roiland. Can we talk about this? Another crime <laughs> going on here. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh. Why does she look like a thick ass stepmom, bro? Like, can we talk about how Princess Bubblegum got like the mom fit going on? <laughs> yeah, she's giving off I own a minivan right now. She's about to drive Finn to soccer practice. I have to try to help him. What the fuck is this episode, man? Oh, he's a flower now. That's adorable. Ah! Why did he have to vor you? Why did you vor Princess Bubblegum? Because she's into that shit, man. Oh, no! Oh, uh, uh, I feel like my brain has melted. This will be us during the electroshock stream. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this is terrifying. We're just watching Lemon Grab torture children. Like, what am I supposed to say to this? What am I supposed to react? Earl, I can help you. No! No! No more helping! For free, bro? For free? Princess Bubble Butt. That's what someone in Guaranteed Cucumber said. Princess Bubble Butt. I need that Princess Bubble Butt, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Am I in the right room? Ew, 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 ew I ew, hate this ew. episode. What? Who's this rigmarole? This is the worst gay couple to ever be represented in all of media right here, okay? <laughs> monkey see, monkey do. Mm -hmm. oh, they're gay. So wholesome. They're gay. But it's weird because it's literally like the same DNA buildup. Take care, boys. Yes, yes, indeed. Just knowing how this ends. I'm so uncomfortable. I hate everything related to the lemon grab plot so much. It's fucking horrifying. Go to our Patreon where you can get access to the uncut versions of these videos and also exclusive content like us reacting to Total Drama World Tour, Arcane, and a bunch of more stuff coming soon. Thanks to our patrons. A timely jest to Donna Schultz, Alejandro Paredes, Atomic Leo, Bento, Com Luke, Communism is when no iPhone, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Daryl Herb, Fallen Sun, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Grenados, Gub Stargazer, Gummy Brain Rock, Goonies Now Unison, Isaiah Alford, Ivan Oral, Jalen Hendrick, Josh Gourmet, Calmoe, Knight, Lilac Moon, Magnus Atlas, and my artistry, Master Nate, Misty Skies, Native, Nikki H, Noah Holiday, Obama Gaming, Omega Waffles, Pitchin' Witch, Puffles, Samuel Sanchez, Sheriff Nico, Steven Sanchez, Sun God, The Last Year, and Seriously Awesome Possum, Trinity Martin, Useless Grunt, Alex Wissett, Wyatt Lime, Yahir Sanchez.